Ideal Logic. My name's Alan Hart and in today's video I'm going to show you some badly installed Ideal Logic combi boilers and then I'm going to show you why you should pay more to have your boiler installed correctly and I'm going to show you some good quality Ideal Logic combi boiler installs as well. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's go and have a look. To help the trainees here, I'm going to try and go through as many of the faults as I can see. So this is in a loft, it's in an unheated area and it's an Ideal Logic 24 kilowatt combi boiler. We've also got the benchmark logbook to refer to on this one. So as I said, this is an Ideal Logic, it's installed up in a loft. So I'm just going to test the inlet pressure on the gas. Just have a look at the blow off pipe there. So the PRV on this has been soldered. Now that should be a compression fitting. It shouldn't be soldered on an Ideal Logic. Also the pressure gauge on an Ideal Logic, it should be on the flow, not the return. So it should be on the left hand pipe. So if we have a look at the inlet pressure now on the gas, I'm just going to put it up onto high. So it's on low, I'm going to put it up onto high. So it's on high now. You can see the pressure. It's gone all the way down to 14, 14.5 14 millibar, 14.3 millibar. If we refer to the benchmark document, when this boiler was installed, on the top right hand side there, in heating mode, allegedly it was at 20.1 millibar for the central heating, and for the hot water it was at 19.9 millibar, and we're getting between 14.2 and 14.3 millibar. And when we go to the gas meter and we test the working pressure at the gas meter, it's at 22 millibar. So we've got, what's that, seven, seven and a half millibar drop over the installation. So what that tells us is we've got an issue with the gas pipe sizing. We, we, should, we should only have one millibar drop maximum over the installation for pipe sizing. So that's something for you to check and if you're a trainee um, this is what happens if you don't install the pipe sizing correctly. This has got a lot of 15mm pipe and the boiler's up in the loft um, and yeah it's just it's just it's just wrong. It should be 22mm 22 uh, 22 pipe most of it and then you might get away with a little bit of 15 but it just shows how important it is to um, size the pipe work correctly. Always make sure that you read the installation instructions for the boiler. And this part of it tells you about the gas supply. And I think people get confused here because to see that the logic will work as low as 14 millibar. But the regulations clearly say you will add one millibar over the installation. So please check and read the installation instructions correctly. I did say this was an Ideal Logic combi boiler. It's actually an iMini combi boiler, but it's the same boiler really. Ideal just put different badges on. And if we look at the condensate pipe, we can see it goes through the wall in small pipe in overflow. So clearly that's not installed correctly either. Also, the pipe should be lagged. So it should be big pipe and lagged Again, refer to the installation instructions. Lots and lots of faults on that one. There's a few that I've not mentioned. One is the flu. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some different pictures and videos of flus as well. As well as some good quality installs as well to show you what you should be expecting when you get a new boiler installed. And as a, as a customer, why, why should you be bothered? Well... The main reason why you should be bothered is that if the boiler's not installed correctly, then there's a good chance you're not going to have no boiler warranty. So you might have 
you might have a piece of paper that says you've got a 5, 7, 10, 12, 14, 50 year warranty, whatever it says. But if the boiler's not installed correctly, then then there's a good chance that the manufacturers will, will not honour that warranty. And, and rightly so, in my opinion, we need a lot of these faults, a lot of boiler faults are down to how they're installed. So if the boiler's installed correctly, flush correctly, then there's a good chance it's going to last a long time. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you some other, um, some other boiler faults and then I'm going to show you some good quality installs as well. Show you what you should expect when you have a new boiler installed. This next one is an idea logic and it's the flu. Now it's very very clear in the installation instructions on an idea logic that you cannot have any white on show. So if you see the the actual where the white joins to the to the black part of the plastic that actually needs to be sealed. This is how it should be installed on an idea logic, no white on show, but please refer to the installation instructions. This boiler has got a leaking flue seal. So what's happened, as the boiler's been burning, um, all, the, all the water, all the condensate has been coming back down into the boiler. And it's obviously made, made a bit of a mess of the boiler. As you can see, there's rust on it. Generally, it's just in a bad, bad condition. So we've just got a few bad or badly installed um, jobs there. If you've got any pictures or videos of Idea Logics that's been installed, then I'll add my number below, and you can send me them on WhatsApp, and I'll try and do a video, and I'll try and answer any of the questions that you have. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'll do a video or I'll continue this video and I'll show you some good quality installations and, and what they should be looking like. Um, so yeah, let's go and have a look. So the most important thing of all, in my opinion, is actually how clean the system is. You wouldn't put old engine oil in a new car. So why would you expect a brand new boiler to work when you've got a load of sludge and mucking it so it's really important that you flush the radiators out i installed this idea logic about five or six years ago i believe if we have a look there you can see it's got the compression socket on the prv pipe also we fully flushed the heating system and afterwards we added some fernox protector to make sure the system stays clean I'll quickly show you this install from start to finish and then I'll add some more installs after so I'm just going to share a clip what I did previously just quickly ask you a big favor if you could please like comment and share if you could it really really helps with the video um, yeah let's go and have a look at this install my name's Alan Hart today we're working in Tinsel in Leeds we're taking out an old back boiler we're going to install an Idea Logic Plus. So we're just going to drain the system down now, and the system is very, very mucky. So we're going to flush this system out. We're going to put some Fernox F5 in, and we're going to use our Magna Cleanse, and we're going to flush all the system. We don't want all that muck going through the new boiler. So we've removed the old boiler now, so the old back boiler. So we're just going to core the hole now for the flue. For the boiler so we're just going to fit the bracket to the wall just level it up make sure it's all nice and level so we've got the boiler on the wall now so we've got a fernox filter on here just to protect it afterwards so we're just going to commission the boiler now set our low and high gas rate so we've just got as water samples here so we've got the sample now so this is the nice clean sample and then we've got the sample before so we're just going to add as Fernox F1 now to protect the system so the system stays healthy and that's it we're all done thanks for watching
This is an Ideal Logic install from Love Your Plumber. I went to this install with John. Um, first of all, protect all carpets. He's now taking the boiler out. We have done a full video on this from start to finish. So if you just search for Love Your Plumber and then you'll find it um, in my videos. Just taking all the old boiler out. He's just putting a board just to line the cupboard out just so he can get all his clips nice and neat and just make a nice tidy job. Just got his boiler template, really good on Ideologix because it shows you all where your clips need to go and stuff. Just leveling all his pipes up, uh, leveling all his clips up, sorry, put all his clips on now. As you can see that pipe work, lovely, lovely pipe work. He's a very, very good installer, is John. He's um, done some nice solder in there as well. Have a look at this front display. The boiler's on now. The central heating's calling for heat. The display on this is, is very, very nice. It's got hot water preheat, so that's turned off. Then you can turn it on by pressing that button. Turn it back off again. Then you've got your menu. Click on your menu. And then you can scroll down from this. So that's just a few Ideal Logic boiler installations. I hope you can see the difference and I hope you can see the difference in a, in a bad boiler installation and a good boiler installation. If you've got any pictures or videos, if you want to send me, an, uh, send me them on WhatsApp, then that's great. I'll add my number below. Um, yeah, and as always, if you've got any questions, ask, ask below. And the difference between a good install and a bad install, if you install a boiler correctly, then you've got much a much better chance of the boiler being reliable and lasting for longer. And also then you must get the boiler serviced as well. So it's very important that you have the boiler serviced. So for instance, if the boiler's got a 10 year warranty and you have it serviced and you have it serviced correctly, then you've got total peace of mind and if there is, if anything does go wrong with the boiler, then the the manufacturers will will cover it under warranty. So it's not you're not going to have any more costly repairs. But it's as I say, it's important that you have the boiler installed correctly to start with. So system flushed, um, yeah, just all installed correctly. Thanks for watching.